Well, it's good. It's not a manual, so <laughs> that's a, uh, <laughs> that might be a little bit, uh, quite a bit of multitasking. If yeah. We were so, how are you, Gary? Good. It's good to see you again. Good to Howie. see you again. Uh, we drove. Uh, when was it? Uh, I no, know, October, October last November year? last year. And obviously, Gary Evans, like the chief engineer for the 10th generation Honda Civic, which, by the way, won Car of the Year in Detroit just early, well, last month actually, we're in February already. Yeah. So, congratulations on that. Oh, thank you. And um, I know that um, I mean, you worked really, really hard on that car. And um, I just wanted to hear from you what, what, what the whole thing means. Like, for you personally, for the company, for the auto industry, what this car, maybe we can go, we're driving the coupe now, okay. which is part of the, of the program, obviously, but it's uh, one of the variants of the 10th generation Civic. But I wanted you to tell me what, what the, the whole thing. Uh, I don't know if you were gonna do a loop or anything. Yeah, just we're gonna go around five, five minutes. No, it's okay, okay. okay no, yeah, we, we don't, don't need that, to. Don't worry about it. Okay, yeah, thanks, Dan. Yep. Now we just can go out and then right, right, and then we can come around. Okay. So, Igari, so I wanted to hear from you what what does the actual 10th generation Civic means for the company and then what personally, like the work you put into developing this car and then like winning the car of the year. Sure. Well, I think the the Civic is obviously a huge prod product for Honda, the overall Honda portfolio. Um, but the key that the team, what the I team... I think we can go around. Oh, the, the, the yeah. left here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You can I, make it. You know what? I am. Are we just going? This yeah, way? yeah. That way. Oh, all right. I'm sorry. So uh, this is my first time out here. So please. Um, so let me start that over. Yeah. So uh, which way? Are we just gonna go straight here? Yeah. Okay. So the Honda Civic is a huge product for for Honda. It's a huge part of their portfolio. And it's uh, it's a global product. It's sold in over 150 countries around the world. So, um, being the the lead development facility for such a uh, an important product for Honda was a great honor. Um, we designed the uh, platform at R and D uh, in America, in Marysville, Ohio, and so it was a great honor to to um, be chosen to lead this project. And uh, yeah, it was a very um, challenging, it was probably the most challenging project that I had ever worked on, but um, I got to work with so many great people that it was the most rewarding project yeah. in my life also. So you, uh, the, a lot of people don't understand what, what takes to develop a car. And uh, we were talking uh, last night actually, and uh, you were explaining to me like you obviously work a lot with Tokyo and all that, so yes. your days were like extremely <laughs> long. <laughs> and like, can you talk about how what 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 takes to 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 develop a car? I mean, we'll never get justice. We're gonna talk a few minutes, but sure. Um, well, this uh, this vehicle was uh, quite challenging, and then the the powertrain. Uh, and some of the derivative models were developed in Japan and the chassis and the interior and body were developed in America. So there, there needed to be more communication on this vehicle than, than almost any other project that's ever been undertaken by, by Honda. So uh, if you can imagine, uh, Japan is pretty much 12 hours apart from America. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> so you only have two windows of opportunity when you can communicate. Uh, with Japan, and that is uh, 7 a.m. and 7 p.m. And a lot of times you have to have <laughs> both. <laughs> yes, exactly. A lot of times you have to uh, talk with maybe two different groups in one day. So you have to be at the office by 7 a.m. and have a video conference, and then you work all day, and then uh, you have another video conference in the evening to have more communication. And we did that for uh, maybe two or three times a week during the development. So it was a very challenging project. And overall. the development takes a couple of years at least, yes, right? Yes. Yes. So. So you have all of this um, work and uh, you know sacrifice that you put into a vehicle, and we had such high targets. But when uh, when we won the the car of the year, it was kind of validation for all of the high targets and all of the work that and not only myself I'm just one small part of it but the entire organization the entire team the entire R&D uh, company put in and uh, you know all of the dedication and sacrifice that everybody put in I was just I felt so 
honored when we got car of the year because it was validation that all of that was worth that and what was worth it so it, it, it was a great it was a great feeling when when uh, when they announced it so it's been a few weeks since they announced that <laughs> and uh, can you take me uh, to like the night before the day before the actual <laughs> moment how you were feeling because it's like uh, even bigger I guess like we need like the, the biggest award that you can you can receive in the industry right yeah 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 I, I believe so and uh, leading up to the announcement or leading up to the uh, presentation I have I had read a few articles in the on the internet yeah and, and uh, there was some rumors out there that the, the Chevy Malibu had won and uh, oh like they, they, they are well they don't know they those were rumors right exactly yeah. they were rumors and and so I, I was I was hoping, of course, that the that the Civic would win. Um, and when they made that announcement, it was just complete elation and, and excitement on one part. But I also had an emotion of um, relief, like, okay, it's been recognized, and and all of the hard work is paying off here. Yeah. So it was it was a very emotional moment in that second. But. Afterwards, they were taking pictures with the trophy, and I felt it was a very humbling experience for me because I felt like uh, there, I was just a small part of this entire team of this entire company that had won this award, and there should be hundreds of people here accepting the trophy and taking their picture with the trophy. So, for me, it was a very humbling experience, also. Yeah. You can go up and around, do, do a, a U turn and go back to Cactus Sandwich. Uh, yeah, Gary, but um, on the other hand, I mean, like, you were chief engineer. I mean, you were in charge. And I'm sure during that two, three year uh, period of time where you were working on this car, there were moments that you had to be really tough and, like, yell at people or I don't know how you communicate. I don't know your managing style. But, I mean, you were in charge. And, like, when there's a problem, you have to solve it. So, I mean, I understand that you want to share with your team, but like, I mean, it's pretty amazing uh, for you. I'm, I'm just sure personally, like to like, I did this job. <laughs> yeah, it is. Uh, it is very, very fulfilling. I I agree. But I had the honor or the I was so lucky to work with so many passionate people, and everybody had uh, the the vehicles. Uh, best interest yeah. in, in mind and so everybody just wanted what was best for the vehicle so you know you're saying you had to make difficult decisions yes absolutely but finally you know knowing that everybody was dedicated and, and wanted the best for the vehicle and everybody had so much passion on every single little part that they put into the vehicle made it really just a, a great experience overall so I understand uh, this is uh, about your 25th year uh, working yes. with Honda. Yes. And um, when I think you, engineering is in your family, right? Your father was an engineer and all that. But uh, if, if you had not made the right decision or like that decision you made, I'm not saying it's right. Or wrong. I guess it's right now. <laughs> <laughs> but you could have taken like a slightly different path and designed other things rather than cars, right? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> my, my father was, a, was an engineer uh, for Boeing in yeah. Seattle and I grew up in Seattle, went to the University of Washington. So there was a, a lot of... Um, pressure not pressure but there it was it would have been very easy to go to uh, into the aeronautical uh, industry but uh, I'm really glad that I went into the automotive because it's been such a fulfilling career I, I can't it, it's a dream job it's a dream job being an engineer on, on a vehicle and especially a, a vehicle that uh, was so enjoyable and that I'm so proud of I'm so proud of this Civic and I'm also gonna you know wherever I go around the world I'm going to be able to see this Civic driving down the road yeah. and I'm gonna think I had an integral part in the development of that vehicle and so it's something that I can have pride uh, for, for for the rest of my life yeah and when you say around the world it's truly around the world how many like 150 uh, countries over, at I, least? I think the last time I counted I tried to count there it was over 150 countries around the world 
and that's the other part that makes it really challenging to develop cars nowadays because specs are completely different like the car even in Mexico can be very different from the car that is uh, sold here in the state right that's very true there's a lot of there's a lot of different requirements depending on the market and so uh, in America we developed the, the four-door and the two-door which we're driving today uh, in Japan they, they uh, developed the five-door and then uh, we, we've collaborated on the SI and the Type R a lot of those uh, vehicles that are going to other countries uh, Japan had uh, quite a bit of influence on those yeah. also so they, they you know we had to work on quite a few variations but also Japan had a big uh, role in developing variations such as China the China uh, market vehicle HGT or Japan was actually in charge of yeah so um, Civic Coupe 2006 Civic Coupe one car of the year right it did yes uh, 2016 so, Civic. No, no, the oh. six, the no, the oh, 2006. Cool. Oh, 2006. No, we, yes. yeah, yeah, we, yeah, we we'll go straight. Oh, sorry. Yes. So the the 2006 Civic Coupe one car of the year. Yes. And the sedan one 2000. Uh, uh, this year car of the year. Yes. So, uh, what's your predict? Can you make a prediction? Are we going to well, go back to back? Well, yeah, so because with this, this pattern in, car, 2000, right? in 2026, we're going to win again, right? Yeah. No, I hope not. I hope we win before that. But <laughs> No, no, no. Next year <laughs> yes. with this car because this so. is a different car from the sedan. That's completely. exactly right. So, um, journalists, please uh, start <laughs> voting for the, for the coupe for next year. That's going to be amazing if that happens. I mean... Uh, it, it couldn't happen to have a nicer guy. I mean, I really appreciate your time and uh, we talk now a few times and, and and I always try to explain to, to the, our audience how cars are, yeah, it's a machine and like there's a person behind yeah. it and like, like most, most people, people think, think about, about engineers like, like a very square person and like only think numbers and no emotion but obviously, obviously there's emotion and passion behind something like this, right? Uh, absolutely. I mean, like I said, I'm very proud of this vehicle, but I'm even more proud of, of the team that was able to put this vehicle together. I mean, each and every person was dedicated and has such a great uh, passion for Honda and the Civic that it was just a very fulfilling project. Well, thank you very much and uh, good luck with this car. And uh, I understand there's other variants coming up, so it's going to be a lot of good news coming up for, for you and Honda. Um, in the coming months, right? Absolutely, absolutely. We're very, very excited about the, the Civic lineup and, and the vehicles that are going to be introduced here in the near future. Excellent. Thank you and hope to, to spend some time with you again soon. Thank you very much, Javier. Bye.